but our country has never done better economically. Uh, we just set a stock market record yesterday. That would be the 135th in less than three years of my presidency. So we've never had an uh, a, uh, economy anywhere close to this. A week of Christmas miracles. Just day after President Trump boasted his latest economic record, he broke it once again. Yeah, the Nasdaq blowing past 9,000 for the first time ever on Thursday. Another historic gain under the cloud of impeachment, of course. So will the market's faith in the president ultimately lead to 2020 victory? Trump 2020 campaign director of strategic communications, Mark Lauder, here to weigh in. Mark, thanks for being here with us you, live in person. I mean, that really is a $64,000 question. Will these market gains, these record market numbers we are seeing, lead to a Trump re-election in 2020? Absolutely. James Carville said it well back in the 90s. It's the economy, stupid. But this is not about Wall Street. When you take a look at those record numbers, and they're great, this is about Americans who are saving for their retirement, who are saving for a child's college education, that's where this really resonates. And people see it when they see their 401k statement. Yeah, whether you like the president or not, you cannot deny the uh, economic strength. We have 3.5% unemployment, which is a 50-year uh, low, uh, 7 million jobs created. Uh, the number of jobs opening exceeds unemployment averages, which is huge. And we just heard that hol holiday sales hit a record high. So what specifically is the Trump administration doing to see these kinds of gains? Well, first off, we, we cut taxes. You put more people in money in, in money in people's pockets, they're going to spend it the way they want to spend it, rather than how government thinks you should. But also, because we've gotten regulations off the backs of businesses, you see them now investing, you see them growing. And because we have such a strong unemployment rate, low unemployment rate, many companies now are having to go outside of their traditional hiring pool mm -hmm. to hire people, which means more people are getting an opportunity. People usually at the bottom end of the economic ladder are now getting shots at jobs and training they've never had before. And that's another reason why I think that I hear it when I travel the country, people are going to re-elect this president because they like what is going on in the country. Mark, what is your response to the Democratic talking point that not everybody has been lifted up by this economy? Uh, they're in denial. Uh, you, can look at the, you can look at the stats. People at the bottom end of the economic ladder are getting the largest income gains right now. The unemployment rate for people without a college degree or just a high school diploma is at the lowest rate in history. Because we have such a strong labor market, those companies are hiring people that they normally wouldn't do it. And so everyone is gaining right now. You know, President Trump's approval rating is at around 42 percent. And I'm just wondering, should his approval rating be higher given the strength of the economy? And if so, why isn't it? Well, I think some of these, you've got to take these uh, polls with a grain of salt. And, and I think they're heavily weighted toward the coasts where there's a lot of population centers. Mm -hmm. And when you, look at the, when you look at the polls that we have seen internally, the president's reelect numbers are very strong. And they, and they see the economic gains. And unfortunately, we've seen this president a resistance movement from the day he was elected that was formed that wasn't going to give him a shot, no matter how well he did. They're now fulfilling that resistance movement. That's what they're doing. But I think most of Americans, they're not engaged in what's going on in Washington, D.C. They want to see what's going on in their own Those lives. Those kitchen table issues. You mentioned the coast. One coast that President Trump has his sights set on right now is the West Coast, specifically California, and their governor, Gavin Newsom. Uh, the homeless crisis there is bad, and the president said if this continues to happen, the feds are going to go in. Is that the best strategy to sort of rattle the cages there in California? Well, I think, first off, this is the president doing what he usually does. He's highlighting the failures of failed liberal socialist policies, and we see it on the streets right now in California. He's going to call it out for what it is and remind people that this is what you voted for. You deserve better. And if the federal government can help, then I think that there's going to be an opportunity to do that. That could be including opening up new federal facilities. It could be more grants, but making sure they're not wasted by bureaucracy. So the president will take a look at it. But ultimately, California, which is one of the most liberal states in the country, has got to decide where did we fail? Yeah. that has allowed this, this problem to progress. Well, Ben Carson um, uh, laid out some of the things that he thinks could fix California's homeless crisis yesterday. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. We need to get an agreement to use law enforcement, to uncuff la uh, law enforcement so that people can be removed. I, I expect to do something in conjunction with the leaders in California. I, I don't want to just do it by ourselves. 
All right, your reaction? No, that's absolutely right. And I used to work for a city uh, in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we know that homelessness is not just an, a police issue. It is not just a jobs issue in services. There are some there are some serious problems there, but we have to work together. It has to be all it has to be all of the above. Yeah. And what we're seeing right now is just nothing going on. Right. It'll be really interesting to see if uh, Gavin Newsom accepts the help because there's such animosity between those two. Gentlemen, yep. thank you so Thanks much. You, Speaking thank of you. gentlemen, Mark Lauder. Appreciate it. Yeah.